Today we are asking you to help the Carolina Children's Charity. They do a wonderful job helping low country families who have children with special needs. And tonight, I introduce you to an off the chart adorable set of sisters. I know you're watching Baylor and Carson. One of them helped by the Carolina Children's Charity. Wait a second, so you two against me? Yeah! I thought it was me against you against you. No! So now you get the idea of how my afternoon went, hanging out with Baylor and Carson Hamby. So what's your last name? I'm sorry. Hamby. Hamby. How do you spell that? H-A-M-B-Y. It was two against one all the way. Are you guys best friends? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's easy. That's this one. <laughs> Parents Brandon and Brooke invited me into their home to meet Baylor. I don't think we saw that one yet. This precious little seven-year-old dealing with much more than any seven-year-old should have to. She has a list of medical history from um, epilepsy to a disease called alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. And she has a heart murmur and her immune system is really weak major anxiety problems. Baylor just three weeks old when she started getting sick, her first diagnosis at three months, but in between, plenty of frustration. One time she got sick 15 times in one day. I took all of her clothes, laid them on the doctor's office. I'm like, listen, there's something wrong. This is not right. Baylor takes eight medications daily and sees several different doctors. As you can imagine, that doesn't come cheap. And that's where the Carolina Children's Charity stepped in a grant for a weighted blanket to help reduce anxiety and improve her sleep, something Baylor wasn't getting much of at night. I was getting up almost every night. Well, that's no fun. You're probably tired. Yeah, so how has this helped you? It helps. It helps me sleep all through the night and not wake up. It's a weighted blanket, so it, it, it's there to comfort her um, all the time, and it, we've noticed a huge difference. Also, another grant approved to cover the cost of Baylor's medical alert bracelet, which has her medical history and all the information needed in case of an emergency. It has all my medications on it, my inhaler, and one is food allergy, and one is my epilepsy. And anybody with a smartphone can scan this, like if she's on a field trip and she were to get sick, her teacher can scan this and it'll bring up a list of all of her doctors. And they thank the Carolina Children's Charity for much of that peace of mind. We don't hear the word now. I mean, you can call them and be like, Baylor has this medication, my insurance is not. They're not gonna say, oh no, sorry. They're like, you know what, we'll get on it, we'll see what we can do. Love spending the afternoon with that family. The Hamby family has been involved with the charity for years. Brooke's grandfather, Cyrus Pye, the longtime fire chief of Mount Pleasant, and Cyrus was the co-founder and past president of the Carolina Children's Charity.